color assistant has several features that make it useful for various things. It can be used as a quick and dirty color corrector. It can be used to clarify video somewhat and it can be used to create effects like this if you stack them and colorize. It starts off with basically this rectangle and it can be positioned and distorted some. And it can be keyframed so you can create effects with it. Basically what you do is you start off with picking your color. And it doesn't matter what you're in. You can click on the eyeglass. And let's see. Let's pick that color. And I want to neutralize it somewhat or enhance it. You would use the value and the fill opacity to create the balance of the effect that you want. You can feather the edges. It has a fall off. You can turn it on and off while you're trying out things. You can use scale parameters to animate any effects. And like I said, you can shear this. But what I really want to get into is kind of an interesting point about color. Let's turn this one off add a new one and go in to this. Basically if you move down below the line whatever degree of color you are in the color circle is what's being subtracted. Okay, you got a little minus sign here you're subtracting. If you go above the line you add. Down here you subtract. But one of the drawbacks of this is that there's no way to really find out what the exact degree value of a color is. And any filter you have that's got a color picker in it can be used to determine the degree of the color of the hue, I should say, that you need to enhance or neutralize. You don't right click on this. Right clicking on this will actually pop up a color picker. I mean, you can do that, but what I'm suggesting is, is that you just click on it and pop up the regular Apple color picker. Now you have this, and you can use this very much like you would a color corrector three-way. You can grab your little point down here and drag it all over and pick your colors. So if you were neutralizing something, just like in color corrector three-way, if you were neutralizing red, you would drag away from the red from the center. Etc. And if you're neutralizing yellows, you would drag away from yellow through the center into the blue area. What I recommend is clicking on the second one and selecting HSB sliders. And then using the color picker and going in and finding your pixel. Let's pick this uh, sea green sea foam color 184. global it's say we want to enhance it some we can go in and pump in more color in there or we can take it out but that's a very quick way to figure out exactly what color you need to deal with is to use a color picker and a filter and target it with a magnifying glass. It works on any pixel. Actually, I think it works on any pixel anywhere. Anywhere on your screen. 
So I could even just go over here and pick a color out over there in my clips. I use this technique to help me color correct this particular clip for skin tones. And this is fairly accurate and fairly good, but you can use the color assistant to give a little bit more vibrance to and just a touch. And so this entire clip is now color corrected. Anyway, quick tip, simple filter. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.